we are looking at here is the extraordinary selection of 163 international studio ceramic works from the seminal collection of the late Dr. John P. Driscoll. These are some of the highlights from his spectacular collection, representing over four decades of dedicated and passionate connoisseurship. This collection explores the exceptional range of British studio ceramics, but also links to parallel movements in Japan and Denmark. It is a breathtaking collection of pots. We begin with Bernard Leach, father of the British studio ceramics movement, an integral strand of 20th century British visual culture. Inspired by his early years in Japan, Leach returned to the UK with his friend and fellow potter, Shoji Hamada, settling in St Ives, Cornwall, where they built the first ever Japanese-style climbing kiln. Here they work together, exploring Eastern and Western philosophies and blending their native traditions. This water jar by Ladi Kuali is another stunning example of the cross-fertilisation of cultures. Leach's first pupil, Michael Kaju, worked with Kuali at Abuja in Nigeria and subsequently invited her to exhibit in the UK in 1958. You can see the aeroplane motif of the design, no doubt referencing her own life experiences. The collection includes many important works by the modernist masters Lucy Ree and Hans Koper. The aesthetics of this exquisite bowl and saucer are entirely specific to the European culture in which it was created. When she was forced to flee Vienna for London in 1938, she brought with her just a few prized possessions, including this bowl, which she wrapped up in her clothes in her suitcase. This remained in her personal collection for her entire life. There are many very special personal stories like this throughout the collection, such as the enormous pot by Hans Koper, exchanged with a local school for a goat. You can see the inscription on the base which commemorates the trade. We have here a vibrant collection which presents ceramics as a vehicle for artistic expression equal to painting and sculpture. John Driscoll once said he was viscerally, intellectually and aesthetically energised by these works and my hope is that they will continue to have the same effect on new generations of caretakers and collectors. Mm -hmm.